Hey guys, Auspicious Ozzy here and welcome to episode 50. We've made it to 50 episodes of the Berlin Dynamo series. And uh, as you can see, for episode 50, got a haircut as well. And uh, unfortunately, things, um, things aren't exactly going our way, as you can tell by the league table here. We currently find ourselves in 13th place. I'll move the face cam down the bottom as well for you. 13th place, we've got 10 draws. This tactic... While I love it, it's defensive stability, it doesn't really offer us a lot going forward. Looking at it, we've only got a negative two goal difference, and that's from our, our three losses this season. So it's such a weird one because we're not losing. Like, I don't feel like I'm losing, but now it feels like the draws are losses because I'm not winning games as well. It's a really weird feeling. Anyway, we're on 13. Uh, you know, a couple of wins and we're, we're up in a ninth place. Um, it's a pretty clear, distinct sort of top half, bottom half from, from eighth place and above, you know, 23 points to 29 points. It's very close at the top. Um, and it's also very close at the bottom as well. Um, there's only seven points between ninth and 18th. And as you can see, poor Dresden down the bottom at the moment on 10 points. However, we're three points behind the 18th place. So if all the teams below us win, we're, we're in big trouble um, at the moment. I'm not going to hit the panic bells just yet. And that's only because, and I'll show you our recent fixtures. We went so many games unbeaten up until the, up until the Bochum game. Um, but obviously last episode was Elversburg and Herfa. Since then, we, we versed Magdeburg, managed a one all draw. Only goal scorer was Giel for us. As you can see, we're not playing well, so I'm starting to wonder, maybe instead of keeping it at balanced, if I move it to positive, is that going to have a positive effect on the sort of attacking mentality of the team? I don't know. Anyway, up next, home draw against FC Cologne. They opened the score. Oh, sorry, we opened the scoring through Hauervig. Actually, I want to show you this goal. It was a beautiful, beautiful goal. Uh, but we had 13 shots, only one on target, and it was this goal. So it's, it's a weird one. It's a weird one. Anyway, Egan Riley goes back to Hauervig, and then he just absolutely smashes it into the bottom corner. Very nice curling shot. Um, and I've exited back there. But yeah, another draw. Uh, Cologne, I think, were. Second in the league at that stage. So a, a pretty impressive draw. Uh, the next game we did lose, however, against Bochum. They were coming fifth at the time. Uh, as you can see, they opened the scoring. We got a goal back. Again, our only shot on target. We, we managed to score. Uh, and then we gave away a penalty in the 84th minute. And I believe, I think it was Clayton, but it might have been someone else. I don't know. Anyway, we gave a penalty away. They scored it. 2-1 victory for them. The next game was a nil-all draw with Kaiserslautern, uh, who were first in the league at the time. As you can see, the defense. This, it's, it's such a weird thing, because this defense is so solid, yet, going on the other hand of things, I don't know, maybe, do I go balanced with a 4-4-2? You know, the, the, my previous tactic that we were using, that we, we finished fourth with, um, and just go balanced and hope that the, the attacking prowess of the players and the strikers will be good enough. I don't know. Because like the, the defensive midfielders aren't really doing too much, if I'm being perfectly honest. He's, he's not doing too much. Maybe I, I bring him up here and we, we go with a shadow striker or something like that. It's something to think about. Maybe put one of the um, center mids on defend, have him be attack. And it's, eh, I don't know, that, that's a lot of sort of, there's not many supportive players. I mean, I could always put maybe... Actually, I could put him as an advanced playmaker. Sort of run, running everything. Keep them both on support. Maybe one on defend. Have the advanced playmaker on support. Something to think about. I want, I want to see how we do in this first game against St. Pauli today. Uh, and then we'll reevaluate. Anyway, we then lost, unfortunately, in the DFB, DFB Pokal second round against Leverkusen. Massive game. Um, they opened the scoring. We got a goal back. Perea, unlikely scorer, playing as the inside forward on the right. 
Um, but yeah, they, they got a second goal in the second half and we just couldn't couldn't find a breakthrough, unfortunately. Uh, only had two shots on target, so Leighton was a, a bit underwhelming in this one as well. And the most recent game was a boring nil-all draw against Karlsruhe. Uh, as you can see, 0.23 XG for us, 0.51 for Karlsruhe. Two shots on target for us, three shots on target for them. The defense played really well. Um, and I'm going to assume that their defense, yeah, their defense played really well also. Quite strange. And we're also using the exact same formation. So maybe that has something to do with it. Also, as you can see, our inside forwards not doing too well. Um, but yeah, that's where it leaves us. Um, I think one thing I want to change, I did change this recently, is shoot more often for the inside forwards. I think I'm going to take that off. I put it on for Gel and both of the inside forwards. I'm going to leave it on Gel because I think he's actually playing a little bit better, uh, albeit his uh, average rating doesn't look too good at the moment. Uh, but the defense is somewhat solid. Uh, unfortunately, we, we may as well go into the lineup here. Shiloh's coming in as the right back today. Uh, I was thinking about doing Karaduman, but he's not defensively solid. And we're versing St. Pauli. Uh, and we all know how St. Pauli goes. Uh, Barry picked up an injury as well, and obviously the reason why Egan Riley isn't playing is he has a suspension for yellow cards. Uh, also worth men mentioning, Pavicic is now back. He's just come back from injury, which is really good. Uh, and so has Jabali from his broken leg. So a couple of good players back in the team. Uh, I'm liking it. Uh, and, and Pavicic is definitely much more of a uh, inside forward, definitely as opposed to a, a striker that we've been playing there recently. So happy with that. Uh, also ended up giving him his new contract, which is unfortunate, but 11K per week, it is what it is. Uh, everyone else, uh, the only other change actually is Veloso dos Santos. He's come in for Cruz, who's been playing pretty badly as well. So a couple of play or a few players out there not match fit. Howavig also coming back into the first team today. Looking for a big performance, but at the same time, we're just we, we've won one game all season so far. So it is what it is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. We're, we're just not very attacking. Um, I'll, I'll leave it on balance, but I'm I'm kind of thinking: Do we just go positive? I feel like positive might be the answer for us. I don't know. Hopefully we can win here today. Mira with a free kick. It's going to be the goalkeepers. A little bit frustrating. He pumps it long. And now St. Pauli have the possession of the ball. They do go backwards though. Although they're cutting in, and that is a goal. First goal of the season. Yeah, I mean, I was talking about d defensive stability, and we concede our first shot on target, so there we go. Anyway. Uh, I'll encourage. I don't, know, I don't know if encouraging actually works or what it does. Obviously... It's got an effect on the players, but at the same time, I don't know if it, if it ever actually helps, if it does or not. Anyway, that's half time. We're 1 0 down. Um, not a great start. So I am going to make that change. We're going positive. I just want to see what happens. I'm curious. I mean, their defense is playing really well. It's almost unfair when their defense plays well, mine doesn't, and I cannot score. It's just frustrating. I mean, Anning, the, the player that scored is a, a left wing back, so that's just really frustrating. And uh, time is ticking away, so I'm going to go attacking now as well. I want to see what that does. 6.1 for Pavicic. 6.1. Um, we'll go Prevel for Shiloh. 
Uh, I think I'm going to put Hog on the, the right-hand side. He can actually play there despite being left-footed. Um, I guess we'll just we'll go with that. Dos Santos maybe for Cruz. Potentially too many changes. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see what happens from this highlight. They've actually got the ball. Smet, of course, one of our former players. So frustrated to lose him. He was... He was actually a really good player. And their shot does go wide. I'm going to demand more. Come on. Do something, at least. All right, Hog. It's a cross in. Perea. We get a goal. We get a goal. Another draw, potentially. We're on. We're on for another draw. We scored, though. No one attacking. Yeah, interesting. And we do indeed get another draw. At least it's a draw against St. Pauli. That's a, that's a half-decent result. A any other day of the week, I'd be, I'd be very happy with that. But the fact that we've got, what, 14 draws now, I think? Something like that? Something ridiculous. Not 14, but... About 10. How many have we got? 11. That was our 11th draw of the season. That is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. Do I... Do I do attacking? I'm almost tempted just to try it out. Let's, let's just see what happens in this, in this second game. Anyway, I'm going to join you guys back for the lineup. Give me a sec. All right, so let's get in the lineup. I've made a couple of changes. Uh, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna warn Pavicic actually before we start about his last game because he was bloody dreadful. Uh, Myers come in on the left. He, he's starting to get a little bit more competent in that position, as you can see. It definitely suits him pretty well. Um, so I think I want to get him out there, try and get him at least you know accomplished in the position where it's green um, and it's listed as one of his positions he can play. He's not match fit, which I think is a big problem for him. I think if he did get match fit, you know, he might actually perform pretty well. But I feel like he he could be deadly. He could be deadly cutting in from that right hand side. Um. Anyway, other changes. Cruz has come in, started complaining about match time, got the locker room upset. It's something I'm having to deal with a lot at the moment, um, because we've got quite a big squad. So obviously, I'm trying to bring in better players and. Have have loan signings come in late in the window to replace players that aren't, you know, aren't as good per per se. Uh, Egan Riley is also going to come back in for Shiloh. He was dreadful. Uh, everything else I think is pretty much the same. Yeah, it is. So once again, I'm going to warn Gel. Hopefully, he can pull his finger out today um, and actually do something. Um, but we are attacking, so let's let's just go out there see what happens. Like I said, I'm, I'm not too fast. Ten minutes are just above us in the leagues. <laughs> and it was pretty funny, the fan expectation, the board expectation, both draws. So they, they pretty much know exactly what we're, what we're on for. And uh, they have every right to believe that because, like I said, we, we've drawn 11 games this season. It's, it's just wild to me. I, I, I can't believe... I thought this was going to be the season we get promoted, and it's definitely looking not you know nothing like the season we should be having, or that I envisioned. But like I said, we're defensively solid. We've lost like four games, three games. It's ridiculous. It's just if we had a few more wins, we'd oh, Owevig, he's he he's got some some shots on him. Yeah, like I said, if if we had a few more wins, we would. We'd be towards the top of the league. It's such a weird feeling and um, situation to be in. It's just strange. I don't think I've ever really. I don't think I've ever had it on Football Manager before. You, know, you, you get your teams where you, where your tactics and teams where you, you're definitely not good enough, and you um you lose a lot. But to, to draw this many games in such a short amount, and not only that, but not be able to win games. That's the the big problem. Anyway, we're coming forward here. I've got to 
I'm going to try and remember not to complain too much and, and just take it for what it is. Pavicic into the box. Gel puts it in. I think he's onside and we're in the lead. How dare we? We're actually in the lead of a game. We might be onto something with the attacking. We might be onto something. I don't, I don't want, it's early days. I don't want to, I don't want to jinx this. I'm just going to pause it here real quick and we'll just ease people off tackles as well. Because now that we've got the lead, I want to, I want to keep it. I want to keep it. I do not want to concede. I do not want a red card. Um, I want to win the ball back and we do indeed do that. It's up to Gel again. Into Maya. Can he shoot? He can, but it's wide. Oh, he used his left foot. I need him to use his cut in and use his right foot. He might actually score then. Good first half though. Yeah, very, very good first half. Delighted with the performance. Let's, let's go back out there, do the same thing. Go and get, get three points for us. Hit him with a, a little encourage. Hulk with a throw in to Meyer. Ooh, second yellow card. We've, we, it's all going on for us today. They, they want us to win our second game of the season. They're down to 10 men. Could be a bad thing for us as well, but I'm going to remain positive about it. So Cruz to Haug. Auervig. Cruz again. Nice little triangle. Auervig to Meyer. Back to Cruz. Ooh, just wide from Cruz. He's left-footed as well, so he's using his right foot to take shots. I'm pretty sure I put the center mids... Take less shots. I'm pretty sure I put that on because I don't really want... I was trying to solve the shots to shots on target ratio that we, you know, so often find ourselves behind in. Uh, Maya's going to come off for Mera. And maybe Dantas for... Yeah, we'll do Dantas for Veloso Dos Santos. Uh, he's playing bad. He's on a yellow card. Egan Riley would probably be the other one I take off, but... This point, I'm, I'm just going to leave him on the pitch. And we are in possession. Haug bringing the ball forward into Dantas prior to this substitution. Getting forward. He's got options. Pavicic. Pavicic. Yes. <laughs> we've got a two-goal lead. I don't think we've actually had that the whole season, except for that 5-1 victory we got uh, at the start of the season near DFB Pokal. Come on, boys. We're actually on. We're on for a win. Well, technically, yeah. Technically, I won two games this season so far. But I did win that first FB Pokal. Oh. Mera, just put it in the back of the net. It's not that hard. Not that hard. Maybe someone like him needs places shots. Similar to, to Gel. Egan Riley gets the ball there. We're in the 88th minute now. Los Edos Santos coming forward. Goes to Pavicic. So happy he's back. Mira gets it now. Goes back to Los Edos Santos. Back out to Pavicic. He doesn't have the best dribbling, but beats his man. Oh my god. Oh, how, how did we not finish that? Someone. Anyone. Please get on the end of it. There were two of them there. Look dominant though. We look so dominant right now. I love it. Los Santos Santos into Pavicic. He does lose out though. Kamnitsa are coming forward. I shouldn't get too ahead of myself really because it's only Kemnitzer. They were only promoted this season. We actually just look better. We look so much more fluid. Oh, Gel. There we go. Three goals. I think that's two goals for Gel. Happy days. Getting a victory on camera. I don't even remember the last time. Was it, Did we actually win last episode? Sorry, not last episode. The episode before? I can't remember. I'll have to, I'll have to take a double, double take of that. But 3-0 victory. Yes. Thank you. Oh my god. We're up in the ninth place. It's still on, guys. It's still on. I think we can still do it. I've got to remain positive. Havacic, man of the match. Two assists for him. And a goal as well. Love it.
Like, like I said, I'm glad he's back. Shell's training well. And Puthi's training well. I want to give him a new contract. He actually came to me complaining. Um, and he actually just said, you know what? Don't worry about it. Um, I think I got Naranjo to speak to him, actually. Um, and then I tried to offer him one anyway, and we, we actually have no finances left. Um, so I think the max I could offer him was like 2,500 a week. Um, and he wants about, he, he doesn't want anything crazy. Only like 4.5k, 4.3k, something like that. Anyway, yeah, let me, let me quickly take a look at the fixtures because that's our first green since Osnabrück. And I don't think that was on the last episode. No, it wasn't. And yeah, so this season we haven't won a game on camera until right now. And we're actually unbeaten this episode. Um, we were unbeaten last episode as well, which is quite funny. Uh, but it was two draws. So 3-0 victory, attacking mentality, and we kept a clean sheet. We're on. We're on. Anyways, guys, smash a like for episode 50. Subscribe to the channel as well so you keep up to date with the next 50 episodes coming out. Uh, loving this series. Loving the challenge because it is a challenge. It's actually quite difficult. Um, it's way more difficult than I've, I've had, well, than I had on FM22, which was the last football manager that I played. So yeah, looking forward to it. Enjoying every every game, every season. Um, and it's honestly gone so quick. It really, you know, we're in the ninth, this is not season nine and it's gone real quick. So yeah, make sure you hang around, subscribe. There's only like 75% of you subscribed. 20, uh, sorry, 25% of you subscribed, 75% not subscribed. So hit that sub button. And hit the bell to be notified when the episodes come out. As always, take it easy and goodbye.